right, now you know what this part looks like. Great little front porch. I'll try to keep my commentary to myself this time. So the good thing is this is really your only high ceiling in the house. Just that one entry. You do have a window up there. It's gonna be a linen closet. Guest bed number one, which I think would make a great office space for one of you two. Full bath. Formal dining with a coffered ceiling. It's gonna loop you into your kitchen. Coat closet. Living room. Kitchen. And the upgrades I know that they paid for in the house. Um, some of the light fixtures, they just, they went with their own lights. And they did pay to upgrade the granite because they didn't want to do builder granite. Some sort of, I think it was like African granite. I'd have to double check with the listing agent. Okay. Laundry is off of the dining in the garage. Really good size laundry room. Um, I'm not sure about, actually I don't think the steps no, the steps actually line up perfectly with that, so you wouldn't have to worry about that overlapping. Standard two-car garage. Sorry, that nasally. That super warm weather in Tennessee got me messed up pantry you can see some wear and tear on the paint but nothing abnormal okay backyard so on the backyard they spent about $25,000 after closing between the fence screen and porch fire pit area they did a really good job on this too And this property is on half an acre and it goes past where the fencing is. They just personally didn't want to spend $10,000 on a fence. So they didn't go to the full length of the property. If you ever wanted to extend it, you could do that. Landing. Got another linen closet. All right, coming off your landing, we're gonna go to the right. And this is gonna be guest bed number one with a or guest bed number two with a full bath attached. Really good size. And this is what we were talking about, just the detail in the ceiling. You're gonna see it in all of the rooms upstairs. I would say between this couch and this beanbag, we are probably somewhere around 10 feet, maybe 11 feet. So your craft table, I think, could fit in any of these rooms. But this one would make a great guest room because it does have the full bath attached. Okay, next room on the right. Guest bed number three, that closet right when you walk in. 
Again, detail on the ceiling. This one's kind of fun because you've got like almost like two rooms in one. So be you two's room. Again, detail on the ceiling. They just have their bed pushed back. Bathroom. Separate water closet right when you walk in on the left. Freestanding tub. Double headed shower with the rain head. Double vanity. Great walk-in closet. Carbon monoxide detectors. A little annoying though. Okay. All right, last but not least, bonus room. Double tray ceiling. side of the house. 